Hey you guys, Kingleg86, aka Raymond. Welcome to another prediction video. Now let's talk about what just happened. I mean, on on um, <laughs> on Sunday, guys, we actually seen one of the strangest videos that we've ever seen, and also something that was unexpected. As you guys may have seen in Jesse's video, stealing the Psycho Dad's antique car with Lance Stewart, we saw how Jesse was so excited that Lance Stewart uh, wrote to him and wanted to see, uh, wanted him to come over. And it was a big shock to see how Lance Stewart actually called him. We saw how excited he was. He was so excited. And when he found out he, and also we found out the reason why he called because he found out Jesse was buying a house with his brother Jeffrey. So that was really amazing. So. After when we seen him driving in that that really nice car that Lance had, Jesse kind of lied and stated that I have a car. It's an old Miata. It's a Miata. It's my dad. My dad gave it to me. It's really bad to see how Jesse would do anything or try anything to try to make Lance uh, try to impress Lance. It's easy to to impress somebody. Just be yourself, and they they'll know who the real you is. And as you guys may have known, Jesse is known for playing different characters, doing this and that. And after we seen him steal the car, he was willing to run over his dad. And it was that was crazy. And now, as we've seen, after when we've seen that tweet said something terrible and tragic has happened. And you're, 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 a couple of videos are going to be coming out and you're going to see what happened. We got into a car accident. And as we've seen Lance's video right here, we've seen how the car, how what just happened. The car flipped over, and they were in the car. And now, as let as I when I did uh, Jeffrey's uh, re reaction video to Jeffrey's video, which I actually actually said, "Welcome to the reaction video of Juggernauts," which I should have said Big Brother. Sorry for that. We've seen how uh, Jeffrey. Uh, as Jeffrey came over to his house to go fix his truck with with the help of his dad, he t his dad told him that Jesse stole the car. I thought maybe you talked to him or seen him after that, seen him or somewhere. He said, "Nope, I haven't seen the last. I haven't seen him the last time." And we all remember the that happened the last time, which he was on a date with Tiffany Jade, and Jeffrey happens to come in and they find them all together. But anyway, enough about that. So. After that, they actually got a call about the car. Uh, yeah, they had the car. And now here's something that I want you guys to know. As you guys may have known, I actually uh, have signed up into Ridge Studios website, which, as you as you guys know, you can be able to you know talk to local juggies and everything else. Well, I don't have I doubt there's any juggies here where I live, but I'm sure there is. But anyway, you can talk to any anybody about anything. Now there is one. Uh, one that actually caught my eye, and I want to show you guys. Although it's not, you're not gonna be able to see the whole sentence, but because as you guys know, I'll be covering some of it because I'm down here. But I'll show you now. This is uh, this is Kimmy Rose's uh, page, and as you guys know, some of the some of the writing has been uh has been covered, has been way out, and thanks to me, I'm blocking some. But Kimmy Rose actually wrote a really good theory about this, and. And I also I'm also friends with her on Twitter, so you'll be able to find her there too, Kimmy Rose. So here it is, guys. It says, first off, I want to state that no matter what the what the story, no matter the story, I am glad Jesse and Lance are safe. I will say I have two minds of this about this accident. I see evidence of it being real and evidence of it part of a series or staged. So okay, now we're doing one. Now here's the, some of the evidence of being real. Here's the first category. The ambulance and the police and Lance's pictures and vlogs, which we've seen. And also seen the vlog where they came in and there's the ambulance and we've seen I, partially Jesse by his car, I believe. And also a quick Google search of New Jersey State Troopers shows that the uniforms matches the uniforms of the cops in those pictures. Now, evidence of it being a series. There is no news articles about the accident. Two major YouTubers, local celebrities, were in a car accident. Where's the news? Now that's true. Now that's a good. That's something right there. Jeffrey's video about the accident. Jeffrey just happens to be there to film a video where his dad got a call about the car crash. It's just sorry, it's cut off. It's just too convenient. Then there is a total lack of concern for Jesse shown by Jeffrey and his dad. 
That doesn't seem real to me. Well, as you guys may have heard that, as you guys see my reaction video and also see Jeffrey's video, is that when they got the call about they found the car, they didn't show uh, any concern about it. Also, we didn't see Psycho Dad say, where's my son? And also, Jeffrey was the one that said, so where's Jesse? Where'd he go? Now, let's get back to it. Now, I've seen arguments that Jesse wouldn't risk harm or any head injury by being in a crash for a video. But Jesse has risked life and limb for videos before. For example, the destruction of the gaming room. Psycho Dad demolishes game room. For, with him on the with him inside the room where he could have easily been hit in the head and sustained serious injuries. Or there are some videos that he filmed where he went to abandoned warehouses for the Ursula series. Yes, the haunted series. Where the floors were unsafe and collapsed in sections and anyone could have fallen or even died. I, I know my doubting it that it may be real, may be unpopular or upsetting to some fans, but Jesse himself has told us that he takes his videos with a grain of salt. Like I said, I am so glad that he is safe and sound, and he has a, but, and he has a soft place in my heart, almost like family, which, hey, I think with all of us, we see him as part of our family, also a place in our heart. As you guys know, he... You know, he helps us with, he tells us about problems and how you deal with it and and how you should believe in yourselves, which he tells us that all the time. It was, and, but years as a fan has taught me that he blends stories and reality together so well that it's hard to know if what's real and what's fake. What are your thoughts? So guys, and that's pretty interesting. That is pretty good to see. That's that's something good right there. She made some. She pointed out something about what, that it was real. The ambulance and the police and Lance's pictures and vlogs that we've seen yesterday. We've seen that. Oh wait a minute, that was Monday. I'm sorry. Wait a minute, I'm sorry. It's Monday. Monday we saw the video. Monday, not Sunday. Sorry, I just uh, I, it just popped in my head because as you know, today is Tuesday. We didn't get a video, but Wednesday we're gonna get one. And also, a quick Google search of New Jersey State Troopers shows that the uniforms matches the uniforms of the cops in the vlogs, which there you go. And also, she did point out something uh, also true, which we see there, we can see evidence that this is a series. There is no news or, news or articles about the accident. Two major YouTubers who are local celebrities were in a car crash. Where's the news? Now, that's a good point. And that, and also, as we've seen Jeffrey's video, Jeffrey and his dad show no concern about finding a car that's finding a car about hearing about the car crash, and his car has been, has been destroyed. You know, these guys have have less uh, were less uh, concerned about the damages on the car, less concerned. Now that was weird. Is it's just it almost looks like. Okay, my car got destroyed. Oh well, let's just take it back. So that is a good question. You know, Kimmy has brought, you know, Kimmy has brought a good point on that. His dad wasn't even his dad wasn't uh, concerned about it. Well, I, I'm sure the reason why he wasn't concerned because hey, his his son stole the car. I'm sure that he's gonna Jesse's gonna get what he deserves after that. Also, guys, I put up a tweet. I said, "What do you guys think is gonna happen after the car crash?" I put A, is he going to jail? B, is he in the hospital? Or C, did he run away? So far on my tweet, I have a tie between jail and, I mean, I mean, hospital and ran away. And also, guys, uh, today, I actually saw I actually saw that uh, Michael Green, uh, Kippy Had the Camera, posted a video about what happened to McJugger Nuggets. And they said that he heard about it. And he said that, I wonder where he is. So something tells me that I think he is on the run or maybe he is in the hospital because as Lance stated that his head was bleeding. All I know, guys, is that if this is the case, if this is a case of, of it being a series or being real, uh, as you guys know, Jesse did say that I do these things, even bad things, so I do these, do this so you guys won't do it. So he kind of, I well, like as he stated on that point, I think he kind of showed us what would happen if you don't pay attention to the road and you're vlogging. It's always good to keep both eyes on the road and not on your camera. Well, I've done it before, but I always like do. I always do like a quick second, and I said, I, I yeah, that's what I do, and then after that, I go back to driving and everything. I do that all the time. 
But I said that I I always say it at the beginning. I said, guys, I am driving. I'm driving home, so I know I won't be able to look at you guys in the camera. So just bear with me. I'm, we're gonna have a, a quick discussion about what just happened, and I just talk, and you guys understand. So guys, tomorrow is gonna be crazy. We're gonna actually gonna see. We're actually gonna see the actual footage of this crash from Jesse's point of view. Now, the question is, is Swift going to follow behind him, or is it just him and Lance? I think we're going to find that out soon, and, and it's not going to be pretty. We're, it's not going to be good. So either way, guys, we will, we will know soon enough what happened that day, and expect the unexpected well also expect the worst all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this prediction video i hope you guys but i'm sure you guys have a lot to think about on kimmy rose's uh, theory because that is a really good theory i did say a lot of things stating that oh i uh, i said we see him getting arrested so i think he might be going to jail or he might be going to the hospital Look, let's let's look at let's here. I'm gonna turn the sound down. So look, after this, we've seen the ambulance right there, and as we've seen, uh, now let's point this out. I'm gonna point this out again because I did before. As you guys see, look at this right here. That is, wait a minute. I think that yeah, I think that is the juggy mobile, and I think this person right here on the we we know the person in the middle is actually Jesse. But who who's this guy on the right? I have a feeling that's Swift. And I think the person right here on the left is an EMT. So here, let, let, let me take this off. Let's see. Yep. He, yep. 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 I was right. Ah, damn it. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get a good, good, view, good view on this. The, remember I told you about the guy on the right? It's Swift. So I was so I was wait a minute. It might be Swift. I think it is Swift, or it might be somebody who lives over here, or maybe or it's or it's it's got to be somebody. I want to say that is Jesse's car, and I have a feeling that the guy on the, uh, this person on the right is actually Swift, but something tells me that. The way that he's the way that he's standing right there, I don't think he's holding the camera. If you guys remember correctly, Jesse was the one who had uh, that Lance stated that he had the camera. So I don't know if Swift like I like I said guys before, I don't know if he actually followed them. If he did, the, well the question is how did he get the question is how did he get out of the car? As you guys see right here, this is the that's the front this is the front of the. Hang on, let me get my pen. This is the front of the car, and this is the back of the car. So, if the front mirror right here is broken, how'd they get out? I have a feeling that, yeah, see the, see the door, a door is open here, so something tells me that they might have, so this glass right here is broken, so I'm sure this is from down here or back here. As you guys see, look at this. Look at this, tire tracks. Tire tracks. So something tells me that he did swerve and the car tipped over. So that tells me that, yeah, that happened. He did say, like Lance said in the vlog, that he was looking for the Nas button, which he didn't. He was trying, like I said, he's trying to impress him, and then that happened. So like I said before, I have a feeling that Lance is not going to talk to him much longer anymore after that little incident. So we're going to know exactly what happened tomorrow. But I'm still judging about what he said on the tweet. This is, he said there's going to be a couple of videos of, of, of the incident this week. I don't know if there's going to be another video Friday. Um, that's the thing. We, we won't know. But he did say that it's there is a video coming out Wednesday. I'm sure of it. So <clears throat> I think around 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. Pacific time, wherever you guys are at, I'm sure that's going to happen. I'm in the I'm on the Pacific time. You guys are on the – I think some of you guys are on the Eastern time and the other times, actually. Eastern time and other times. Anyway, <laughs> I can go on and on if I want, but 
I'm just getting nervous about tomorrow. That's what I'm saying. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the um, that little theory from Kimmy Ro uh, uh, from Kimmy Rose's uh, thing. On his pay on her page, and Kimmy, sorry about that. I just wanted to point that out because that was a really great theory. So we'll find that out tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reaction gameplay. Draw some likes if you enjoyed this, Kimmy Rose. That's a great theory. After reading all that, I believe that we don't know what's real or fake, and pff, this is real. And I think we'll know if it's real or fake when we see Jesse's uh, point of view on that vlog camera. On that day when that happened. So we will know. And always expect the unexpected. But after seeing this, we know what to expect. So we will know. All right, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget, like I always say, stay positive. And uh, like they say, tomorrow's another day. But tomorrow is going to be the most craziest day ever for us.